Hello and welcome to this special Halloween edition of HCC News. I'm Rachel Madrid. And I'm Hannah Arthur. Here's what's been making headlines around Hutchinson this week. Zombies invaded Hutchinson last week for the monthly third Thursday event. Several lifeless creatures were seen meandering down Main Street from 2nd to Avenue A for the zombie walk. There were chilling children zombies and scary brain-eating zombies. On top of all the other great cultural activities at Third Thursday, there was also a Dia de los Muertos community altar where individuals could leave an offering in honor of a loved one. Another strange zombie sighting took place on the HCC campus this past Tuesday. As part of the annual United Way campaign, various HCC students and staff, including our very own Dr. Ed Berger, met for a flash mob in front of the Parker Student Union. The group danced to Michael Jackson's Thriller and were led by several members of the HCC Theater Department. It was all part of this year's fundraising efforts. Stay tuned and at the end of the show, we'll have more of all the zombie dancing fun. The flash mob was also to help promote this week's theatrical production of Evil Dead, the musical at the Stringer Fine Arts Center. We spoke with the theater director, Deidre Maddox, to find out more. I am here with Deidre Maddox, director of Evil Dead the Musical. You want to tell us a little bit about what you're doing? Uh, well, right now I am mixing up blood for tonight's final dress rehearsal. So. Okay, and can you tell us a little bit about what you're using the blood for? Well, I don't want to give too much away. We use it for all sorts of different special effects. Um, we spray some blood, we squirt some blood, we ooze some blood. Um, characters get shot, so we have to create gunshot effects. Um, characters get uh, cut up with a chainsaw, so we have to create that kind of effect. So um, we actually, I'm mixing up blood in all different um, consistencies for the different effects. So. About how much blood are you guys making for this production? We are making a lot of blood. Like this right now is a is a is a consistency that's um, we call it ten to one. So it's ten parts water and one part this blood jam that's down here. And we go through about a container of this per night just in gunshot effects. So and then there's lots of other blood that gets squirted and used in other ways. So we're going through a lot of blood. <laughs> Now, are you guys doing anything different for this production that you haven't done before? We are. We have some other, um, uh, I don't want to give anything away, some other special effects with the set itself, with the, the actual stage that are different than things that we've done in the past that I think will be surprising to the audience. Uh, how long have you been with the theater department? Um, well, this is my second year as the director of theater, and um, I you know, sort of taught and directed a little bit on the side for three years before that. And then um, 10 years before that, I was a part-time instructor and was actually a student at HCC when I was 18 years old. So I've been connected to the college for a long, long time <laughs> and to the theater department. It's definitely the most complex production that I've ever been a part of, but I wouldn't say it's the most complex that HCC theater has ever done. But um, technically speaking, yeah, this, this requires the most, you know, work <laughs> of anything I've done so far. What has been the most difficult thing so far? Um, oh gosh, probably just putting all of the different special effects and, and lighting elements and sound elements all together. I mean, so much is happening so quickly and orchestrating all of that is, has been the most difficult thing. I would like to add that, that Evil Dead, while it is, is extremely funny and we expect audiences to really enjoy it, it absolutely is for adult audiences only. Um, it contains violence and quite a bit of, of sharp language, so adults only. Sounds fun. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Evil Dead the Musical runs this Friday and Saturday at 7.30 in the Gallery Theater at Stringer Fine Arts Center. Tickets are $10 or free for HCC students and staff with your ID. And again, it is for adult audiences only. Call 665-3503 to reserve your seats, especially if you want to sit in the splash zone. Sprint customers in Hutchinson will soon have access to the newest high-speed 4G LTE service. Although there is no specific time frame for the arrival of this service, it will be in the coming months. The service will bring faster speeds for mobile gaming, uploading photos, surfing the web, and streaming videos. Hutchinson is among the 115 cities that will receive the service that is already offered in Kansas City, Lawrence, Manhattan, Topeka, and Wichita. 
Someone decided to trick instead of treat this past Wednesday as vandals shattered windows across town Tuesday evening. The Hutchinson Police Department suspects the vandals drove around town shooting BB guns from a vehicle. Ten reports of, a broken, of broken windows were made between 8.15 and 11 p.m. Tuesday. Four other businesses reported broken windows, including the First National Bank on Washington and the Kansas Cosmosphere. Officers believe the same suspect or suspects are responsible for the damage and are urging anyone with information about the crimes to contact the police department at 694-2834. Callers can remain anonymous and could be eligible for a cash reward by calling Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477. It was another scary time as the Hutchinson Fire Department responded to a house fire at 1314 Arthur Street at around 2 p.m. Wednesday. According to reports, six people were home when the fire broke out. Thankfully, all escaped safely after hearing the smoke alarm. One third of the house was destroyed and the rest had heavy heat and smoke damage. The cause of the fire was still being investigated. One of the inhabitants of the home is a student of the HCC Practical Nursing Program and doesn't have renter's insurance. She and her three children are in need of clothing and monetary donations. If you'd like to help, please contact the First National Bank of Hutchinson for the Heather Payne Fund. Halloween is quickly creeping up on us, and we found several festive events to check out this week. On Saturday, the 27th, the Hutchinson Zoo will be hosting their annual, annual Boo at the Zoo from 4 to 6 p.m. Boys and ghouls can trick or treat at the zoo, providing a safe and fun environment for all ages. There will be food and drinks available also. Or if you're just in the mood for some ghoulishly good food, this Saturday is the annual Downtown Hutchinson Chili and Soup Festival from 11.30 to 2. For $5, you can sample chili and soup from over 25 entries and watch as celebrity judges pick the winner. The festival will be located on Main between Avenue C and 4th Street. Sunday, October 28th, join the Hutchinson Symphony Orchestra for their event, Spooktacular 2. The family, family event kicks off the orchestra's season with songs from popular classical artists such as Bach and Mozart. Spooktacular begins at 3 o'clock at the Fox Theater with a pre-concert talk starting at 2.30. The Kansas Underground Salt Museum also has a spooktacular deal this weekend. On Sunday from 2 to 7 p.m., get a salt blast pass for just $10 when you come wearing a Halloween costume. This great deal includes both the train and dark ride. You must be at least 10 years old and be accompanied by an adult. No masks or headgear, please. On Halloween night from 6.30 to 9 is Trunk or Treat, put on by the NEA Future Teachers Association at HCC. See what lurks beyond as you head over to the northwest parking lot of the Stringer Fine Arts Building with a can of food for a donation to the Reno County Food Bank as admission. And don't forget to head to Gowan Stadium on Saturday as the Blue Dragons take on their rival rivals, the Butler Grizzlies, at 7 p.m. After dominating most of their season, this should be a great game for the Dragons. And come early and enjoy a hot bowl of chili at the HCC Alumni and Friends Tailgate Party. The tailgate begins at 5 p.m. in the Crimson Courtyard by the stadium. You better bring your blankets to the game as it looks like it's going to be a cold evening, Hannah. Well, I'm probably going to stay home anyway, so... <laughs> Stay with us. When we come back, Evan is here to break down all the new tablets on the market in the Media Minute. And we'll find out what HCC students are doing for Halloween in this week's Campus Talk. Welcome back to the Halloween edition of HCC News. I'm Evan Williams, and here's your Media Minute. 
Apple just announced their new iPad, which is rocking a 7.8 inch touchscreen compared to the original's 9.7 inch screen. Apple also released information about their new iMac computers. These iMacs are now 40% thinner than the previous generation and only five millimeters thick around the edges. In other tech news, Microsoft just released Windows 8 this Friday, and Windows 8 will integrate the new Live Tile interface across the board from tablets to laptops to desktops. You'll still maintain the functionality of Windows 7, but the Start button has been removed to give way to the new interface on laptops and desktops. Microsoft has decided to make a seamless experience all across the board by doing this. And speaking of tablets, Microsoft has jumped into the game with the release of the Surface tablet alongside Windows 8. With a price tag of $499, this tablet has a 10.8 inch touchscreen and comes with 32 gigabytes of storage versus the iPad 16 gigabytes for the same price. Well, that looks like all the time we have for the Media Minute this week. Have a happy Halloween and back on over to the news desk. Halloween festivities aren't just for children. We went on campus to find out what students were doing for Halloween as well as their favorite scary movie in this week's Campus Talk. Are you doing anything for Halloween? Going home. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I might go to a party or something. That's it. If I had the money, I would, but currently, no. <laughs> uh, right now, I don't have any plans, no. Nah. No. Don't know. I think... I think there's some things planned, but we're not sure what it is yet. Do you ever dress up? Uh, not since I was a kid. Back home, no, because Halloween's not a big thing in England. But yeah. maybe well, if we're here, we'll have to. So. No. I'm too grown for that. I dress up. Any costumes that fit, I wear them. Uh, no. What's the scariest movie you've seen? Does it count that I have never been scared by a movie? Probably one of the Halloween movies. Paranormal Activity. I don't, I don't watch scary movies because they give me nightmares. For real, I don't really watch them. It probably has to be a uh, child's play. Little Chucky. Insidious. Uh, what were you? Last House on the Left. So Rachel, do you have a favorite scary movie? Um, no, I do not because I hate scary movies. <laughs> do you have a scary, favorite scary movie, Hannah? Um, I love them all. Uh, the first scary movie I ever saw was The Exorcist, and it terrified me, but it mm -hmm. also made all other scary movies not so bad, so. <laughs> Can't do it. That will do it for this week. We hope you'll tune in again next time. We're going to leave you tonight with another spooky look at the zombie flash mob at HCC. Have a great Halloween. Production of the Broadcast and Media Technology Program of Hutchison Community College. For more information on the program or to submit your story ideas, please call 665-3433.